On Friday, June 28th, Tiana's Bayou Adventure will officially open to park guests and join the Magic Kingdom's roster of attractions. But here's the thing, while it's open, you can't just get in line to ride and you probably won't be able to for a while. Adding to some of the madness is the fact that peak summer season has arrived along with peak summer temperatures, Plus, the 4th of July holiday season is rapidly approaching, with the Magic Kingdom being the epicenter of it all. So, here are a list of tips to help you survive the opening of Tiana's Bayou Adventure and the crazy days to follow. So here we go. Tip number one, know your options. There are only two ways to ride Tiana's Bayou Adventure for the foreseeable future, and that's using the virtual queue, which is the free option, and Lightning Lane, which is the paid option. But let's talk virtual queue first. So at 7 a.m. on the morning of your Magic Kingdom visit, you can request to join a boarding group through the My Disney Experience app. And it's honestly a bit of a lottery, but the quicker you hit the request button at 7 a.m. and the stronger your Wi-Fi connection, the better your chances. If you don't make it in at 7, you can try again at 1 p.m., but you have to be in the Magic Kingdom to do so. And you should know that there have been times when Disney doesn't offer the queue at 1 if they can't meet the boarding groups they already have. But let's say you are assigned a boarding group. You can keep track on the app and in at signs throughout the park for when your group is expected to be called to return to ride Tiana's. Now, Lightning Lane is different, and just an F I FYI here, the entire Genie Plus Lightning Lane system is kinda sorta changing again on July 24th, so what I'm telling you only applies for the opening day of Tiana's and up through July 23rd. But anyway, also on the morning of your Magic Kingdom visit and at 7 a.m., Disney Resort hotel guests can purchase Lightning Lane access and select a return time through Genie Plus on the My Disney Experience app to ride. Non-resort guests can also purchase Lightning Lane, but they have to wait until the Magic Kingdom opens for the day. So being a resort guest is definitely a perk in this situation. Now we do not know at this time when I'm recording how much Lightning Lane through Genie Plus will cost on the opening day of Tiana's or the following days or over the 4th of July holiday. I'm hoping the rate won't be too horrible, but it's definitely possible since we're talking a new ride plus a holiday. And remember, the cost is per person. Okay, so again, know that Virtual Queue and Lightning Lane are the only two ways that you can ride Tiana's Bayou Adventure on opening day and the days to follow. There is no need to rope drop the ride for the foreseeable future and have a plan for which option you want to go for on your Magic Kingdom day. Tip number two, manage your virtual queue expectations. If you manage to get a boarding group through the virtual queue for Tiana's, you need to know that it is not guaranteed you're gonna get to ride. Disney will honor guests who purchase Lightning Lane over guests with virtual queue boarding groups because, well, guests paid for Lightning Lane and the purpose of Lightning Lane is to skip the line. And since there is no standby line right now, those who opted for the virtual queue are that line. Disney's preference for Lightning Lane guests also applies in the events of breakdowns and weather-related closures. So you see, trying for the virtual queue isn't the only gamble you're taking when you use this free option. Tip number three, expect breakdowns and issues. Unfortunately, Tiana's Bayou Adventure has been experiencing breakdowns and technical issues all throughout the month of June. I experienced this myself on a recent visit and I never did get to ride during my stay. And according to social media, this trend has only continued as the ride approaches its debut date. So I would 100% be anticipating the ride to break down during your park day and be aware of that if only to survive your own hopes and expectations. So keep an eye on the app, hope for the best, but be aware that your lightning lane return time or your projected boarding group call time may change. Also, since this is Florida in the summertime with wall-to-wall -wall crowds on some days, don't just stick around at the Magic Kingdom waiting for the ride to reopen. 
go resort hop, go to Disney Springs. Both allow for more consistent exposure to air conditioning, space away from crowds, and they don't require park admission. And you can easily get back to the Magic Kingdom to ride once it's finally time for you to do so. Tip number four, waterproof your belongings. It's a given you're likely to get wet, if not soaked, on Tiana and Spa You Adventure. But something some guests don't know or think about is that the log ride vehicles will already be wet when you board and some will have standing water within the logs. This is a problem if you've been shopping while you're waiting for your group to be called or while things were broke down or delayed. And if you have purses, diaper bags, backpacks that so you don't want to get wet, you need to know this. So bring waterproof bags on your Magic Kingdom day or get a plastic shopping bag to put your bags in while you ride. Tip number five, expect to wait after you wait. For those who get a boarding group via the virtual queue, you should know that when your group is called, that doesn't always mean it's time to ride. It actually means it's time to get in line to wait to ride. This is pretty standard for virtual queues at the other Disney parks. For instance, you're probably gonna wait an hour between the time your boarding group is called for Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind and then actually getting to ride Cosmic Rewind. It's something you want to know if you've made plans or dining reservations during your day. And I'm hoping it won't be more than an hour for Tiana's, but here's the thing. Disney only use virtual queue for annual pass holder and Disney vaca vacation club previews of Tiana's. And even then the lines often extended outside the queue and over the Frontierland bridge in front of the attraction. With lightning lane now being thrown in the mix, I don't know what that's going to look like. So just know that when your boarding group is called through the virtual queue, be prepared to now wait in line and possibly outside the attraction itself. Tip number six, rope drop merch. I'm actually including a question mark with this and I'll explain why. While it's true that Tiana's Bayou Adventure has been accessible for certain guests throughout the month of June, what hasn't been available is merchandise. That all changes on June 28th for the ride's opening. And even though Tiana's Bio Adventure will have two dedicated and themed gift shops, they won't be open on the 28th or in the days and weeks to come. Instead, Tiana's ride merch will be limited to the Emporium on Main Street USA with some items I understand at Uptown Jewelers on Main Street USA as well. Now, Disney has already shown the various souvenir collections for Tiana's and they look fantastic. Maybe better than the ride, in my opinion. There's especially a lot of hype for the interactive shoulder fireflies that come with their own light up, light up jar. They could be bigger than the shoulder banshees of Pandora back in 2017. And again, since the 28th is the first day anyone's been able to buy them, the demand is going to be high. This is why I'm thinking Disney will offer a virtual queue in order to shop on the 28th and possibly after. But at the time I'm filming, they have not revealed those plans, those details, and they may not until the day of. So if you're going to rope drop anything on June 28th, Main Street USA is what I'd hit because this merch is going to go fast and you want to maybe be in line in case there is not a virtual queue offered. If you do hit Magic Kingdom first thing to try to shop, do keep in mind that Main Street USA opens a whole full hour before the Magic Kingdom does. Well, those are my survival tips for the opening day of Tiana's Bayou Adventure and the days to come. I fully expect Disney to reveal more info on the 28th, if not earlier. So do keep an eye on the Disney Parks blog and the My Disney Experience app for that. If you found this video helpful and if you enjoy Disney Park news and little doses of the magic to tide you over to your next vacation, I would so appreciate if you consider liking and subscribing to my channel. I'm a travel and entertainment reporter with a particular passion for the Disney Parks and Cruise Line, and there is so much more news about Tiana's and new experiences both on land and sea to come. Regardless, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.